Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the Windows 10 Fresh Start feature and what that'll do is it'll kind of do a clean installation of Windows while keeping your files and documents and other kind of program files intact. But you have to keep in mind that it's not going to do things like save your install programs in Windows apps. It'll save some apparently if they're OEM installed that is installed from the manufacturer but anything you installed afterwards it's going to get rid of. And it's also supposed to save your system settings as well, so we're going to see how good that works. And the way you get to the fresh start settings is you go, need to go to the Windows Defender Security Center. You can expand that, and then you want to go to Device Performance and Health. And there's fresh start right here. So once you could read this, it'll just tell you what it's going to do, clean up to date installation of Windows, keep some of your personal files and some Windows settings, and remove some of your apps, just like we were saying. Now keep in mind that this is different from the Reset Your PC, which is also from the uh, Windows settings here, and that's not going to, it'll do kind of a similar thing, but it's going to install whatever older version of Windows 10 you had on a recovery partition and not keep any of your stuff. So what this does is going to go and download the latest version of Windows 10 and installed on your computer. So once you're ready to get started, you click on additional info, click on get started. You could also see what apps it's going to remove, but it'll also tell us during the process here. So get started. Say yes to that. Okay, so it's good. Here's another summary. Remove all apps and programs except those that came standard with Windows. And then store apps will be installed by the manufacturer. That's the OEM stuff will also be kept. Uh, it'll also keep device drivers and that sort of thing. And it should take about 20 minutes, but I think it's going to take a little longer than that, actually. So next, you want to click on Next. And so here, it's going to tell us what it's going to remove. So this is just a Windows 10 VM that I configured here and installed some programs on there. So it could go ahead and remove them, because I don't want to do it on the one I'm recording with, obviously. So here's what it's going to remove. So we click on Next. So it says Save Your Work. It's going to take a while and restart several times. And what you should do as well is do a backup of all your personal files. Even though it says it's not going to remove them, it's always a good idea to do so. So we're going to click on Start. And it's going to say Refreshing Your PC, Getting a Few Things Ready. And this is going to take a while. So we will pause the video for this part. So now after that process is complete, it restarted Windows, and now it's at the point where it's saying refreshing your device. And this is going to have to go up to 100%, so this is going to take some time as well. So we're going to have to pause the video once again. Okay, so now that that process is done, it's going through the next phase, which is installing Windows. And this is going to have to go up to 100% again, so once again, we're going to pause the video. Okay, so now it's 100% and it's finished installing Windows. So now we're going to log in here. We kept all of our user accounts, so that's good. And now you'll see it's going to go through that process like when you get a new computer or do a fresh installation of Windows where it's going to say hi and it has some updates and go through all that stuff. So this will take a few minutes as well. Okay, so now you can see we have our Windows desktop. And it looks like a default installation. You might have noticed before that I had the Cortana bar hidden. And I had the classic shell start menu, which just looks like more Windows 7 start menu. So now we're back to the Windows 10 start menu. And our shortcuts here for CCleaner and Adobe Reader are now gone. And if you notice here, we have a file called Removed Apps. So if we click that, it'll open it up with Edge here. And it tells us it removed these four, just like we saw during the process there. So that lines up. And then you can see we had this important document and these wedding pictures from before, and they're all still there, even though they're not really 
wedding pictures. They're just something I made up there. <laughs> and that's about it. So it actually worked out pretty good. So now we've got our fresh installation of Windows with the latest version. And I kept all of our settings and our files here. One thing I want to check also, so we go to Edge, if it'll save our internet, or actually our Edge homepage which it looks like it didn't. Let's just make sure we got the, open it again after we do the initial configuration of Edge. And nope, it didn't. And it didn't save our favorites either. So keep that in mind. You're gonna to wanna to back up your web browser favorites if they're important to you. Uh, so you could re-enter them in your new browser on your new installation of Windows. Other than that, it seems to work pretty good. So if you run into some trouble and you need to do a clean installation, give it a shot and hopefully it'll help you out. All right. Thanks for watching.